Hello, I'm Dina Musaeva, an international social etiquette consultant and author of etiquette books, Etiquette the Least You Need to Know and Afternoon Tea Etiquette. Today's video is what is in my working bag. So before I get to show you what is inside my working bag, I want to tell you a little bit about the bag that I have in front of me. This bag was kindly gifted to me by a brand that is based in India called Sarja. And this particular bag is called Dua, and in Indian Dua means blessing. So the reason this bag is called Dua is because it's made of a cactus leather and it's very uh, kind to the environment, it's a blessing to the environment. The production of it is done very consciously, it's very sustainable. And uh, this little uh, chain here that has the S letter stands for Sarja. And it's interesting that if you flip it like this, it looks like an infinity sign. So these bags are made with the idea of making sustainability and producing things that can last for a really long time. I love the idea that it's made of cactus leather and this particular color is called Fern, but there are other colors available as well on their website. You can check it all out. I'll link it down in the description box. I personally just really love this color. I love incorporating it into my daily wardrobe and I love how this bag, this color goes really well with pretty much anything that you wear, going from a casual the way I'm dressed right now, also with a uh, black dress if you wish for work. So it's a kind of a color that is very strong by itself But it also matches pretty much any attire that you wear I'm also super impressed with how buttery soft this bag feels and how durable and sturdy it is Considering how much stuff I'm carrying inside of it Despite of looking very compact. It's really roomy very spacious as you can tell I'm carrying all my essential work items in it what I love about the Sarja brand is that they're very environmentally cautious and uh, all about sustainability. So they don't use any animal leather, it's all plant-based. So my bag is from Cactus, as I already mentioned. But what I also really like is that they're not doing mass production. It's very, uh, it, they produce in very small, unique amounts. So when you're an owner of this brand, you're one of a kind to own it. So if you're into something, when you're one of the few owners, uh, when you choose your products consciously, then I recommend recommend you looking up into their collection. Uh, the whole collection is available on their website and they ship internationally. So now I'm going to show you what is inside my bag and you're actually going to be surprised by the amount of things that this bag can fit. If you just saw me walking it, you would see that this bag looks like it's pretty compact. It's quite small. Like if you look from the side uh, like this, or if you look from this side, it looks like a pretty small, or I would say not small, but like a medium bag. It doesn't look like a big shopping bag, which makes it ideal for work, especially because we don't want to carry a big shopping bag for interviews or meeting clients, but you also need to fit a lot of things in. So this bag is ideal in that it's compact, but so spacious inside. The very first thing that I always carry with me, and you probably see that a lot in my Instagram pictures, is my laptop. This is a MacBook Air. It's an old version. I actually don't remember uh, the year, but it's many, many years ago that I purchased this. I just can't change it because I'm so used to this. Everything is inside and I can't make myself switch to the other one. Um, so the most important thing for me when I purchase a bag or when I take a bag for work is so that it can fit my laptop in. Also, as an avid book reader, and even if I don't have any time to read any book at that given moment, I always carry a copy with me. I cannot read books online, on the phone, or, or, or through my laptop. I only read paperback books because I prefer to kind of have a feel of the book, to know how much I've read, to underline or highlight the ideas that I want to share or remember. So for me, this is a must-have in every single bag that I carry. Perhaps the only bag that I never they never take book in is a clutch and if I'm going for an evening event every other day I always have a little book with me so the one that I'm currently reading is called never split the difference it tells you how to negotiate and make it um, in your own advantage so I'll let you know what I think about the book once I'm done with it so next what I have in my bag is this little uh, notebook or planner that you probably get to see a lot on my Instagram posts. I had this kind of a notebook in different colors. Uh, this is the one that I recently purchased. I really love this. I think it's called Tope. Um, it's by Hermes. Uh, it's a really flexible leather, so it's really easy to carry it with and fit into any bag. Even a smaller bag than this can fit in this notebook. And I'm the kind of a person that loves to write things down. I'm not 
a very good with online notes. I do take some notes on my phone, but they're usually just what I have to get done through the day. But bigger dreams or bigger goals are always written down in this notebook. And I also really love this pen. Um, I love how it's so simple, but it yet it's, it has a designer feeling to it. And the way it writes is just so smooth and so soft. So whenever I choose a pen, I usually opt for how it feels in my hand and also how it writes uh, so that it just flu flows on the paper. So this pen is the one that is really doing that job. So these are the three essential things that I always have in my work bag. Next are the items that I always carry, regardless if it's a work bag or any other bag, is obviously a phone. Um, again, this is just a must have anywhere at any time. Um, so I'll just skip this part. And obviously a wallet. Uh, actually, uh, the best part of today's technology and things like that is that you can exit your home without a wallet. If you have an Apple Pay attached to your phone, you can just pay uh, with your phone. So there's no really need to carry a wallet. But I love having a wallet because of a couple of reasons. I love having card just in case my phone dies or mm, for some reason the store doesn't accept cards or um, doesn't the Apple Pay doesn't work, it's technology, anything can happen. And I always have a little bit of a change inside. Uh, just some cash in, in, in case if I'm tipping someone or if I'm taking a cab. I don't really like paying through card. I prefer to do cash uh, because um, I guess it's just easier for me to, to pay for smaller purchases with cash than card. Uh, I also have this little two little uh, notes uh, from my daughter. Uh, she wrote to me and I always have them in my wallet as well. Uh, just a reminder whenever I'm not in a good mood or if I'm, if I'm probably demotivated and I take a look at those little notes and they cheer me up. So this is it. Next two items are very important for me, not just a mother, uh, but also just anyone who's into hygiene is having wet wipes. But I guess you wouldn't have a wet wipe like this if you do, weren't a mother. Uh, these were selected by my kids. And this is just a dry uh, uh, wipes as well, just in case if we need to, you know, to clean our hands or our mouth or even clothes sometimes, because you never know what can happen when you're out with kids. Next here, I have my sunglasses. I know that perhaps uh, if it's fall or winter, you probably might not be wearing sunglasses, but I always carry sunglasses regardless of the season because sometimes it might be so cold that my eyes get watery or if it's so windy because in Baku where I live, it's really windy and oftentimes the best way to protect your eyes is just wear sunglasses. These are my new sunglasses from Saint Laurent. Uh, I love the case. It's very uh, compact, but yet it fits a lot. Sometimes I can fit even two pairs of glasses when I just need to have an extra in my bag. Um, then I have this little pink glass wipes, I guess, um, that I need to cleanse always the lens prior to putting it on. So these are my new glasses and I think they look really cool. They pretty much look like every other sunglass I own, but I kind of like the same kind of shape. I like this cat eye shape and it's the one that really suits me uh, and I always go for the one that I know will work for me. Next in my bag, I have a hairbrush that looks like this. Um, it kind of looks like a pet's hairbrush, but I assure you this is for humans. What I love about it, it's so compact, it fits into any size bag and that it's really easy to brush through even the most tangled hairs. I use this to brush my daughter's hair and my own hair, uh, especially when you have like little hair, like with the little hair that grows on top, that you can actually comb them down with as bristles. I don't know the brand, I purchased it many, many years ago, but I think this was an Italian brand uh, that made this kind of very compact and easy to fit in and carry brushes. Next, I have one of the most argued and disputed and uh, things that I'm most hated for, for some reason, always gotten a lot of comments about it, is why am I hiding my perfume bottle? I have done a video about why I think perfume should be kept a secret. Actually, the whole video is about perfume etiquette, but you can watch it and I explain the reasons why I prefer to keep it a secret. It's not an Hermes um, perfume, though I am carrying it in a little pusher from Hermes. I just fit in this bottle in here and I like to keep it private and I think you don't have to disclose everything about yourself to make yourself be loved or liked by others. Some things that you want to keep private, you have the rights to keep it private and still be liked by other people. So perfume is one of those for me. Next here, I have this little, um, again, pouch that I've, this is a pouch from Celine. Um, 
something else came in here, but I usually keep these little pouches uh, that are very um, durable, they are good washable, uh, so I tend to wash them from time to time because I carry them in different bags and I love to have them clean. Um, so I use this little pouches to fit into anything, anything that little sm small thing that I need to kind of have organized in my bag, I keep them in here. So this I'm using as a jewelry pouch. I just have extra additional um, bracelets here and some earrings in, in case if I need to change up my look or perhaps I'm wearing something of a white gold and I'm going to switch my outfit to something else and I want a yellow or a pink gold, then I carry extra pair in a little pouch. Also, sometimes when I'm not even carrying an extra, I'll have an empty pouch like this if I'm going to work out or if I'm going somewhere that I don't want to have anything on, then I'll take it all out and leave it in a little pouch. It helps to keep the jewelry organized, but also helps it prevent from getting scratched amongst all the other things that you have in the bag. Next, I have here my Continuing on with the topic of little uh, sachets or pochettes from, from different brands, um, I have here my earphones. I actually have experimented with all kinds of earphones, with AirPods, with bigger earphones. Um, they're great. I wear them and I have them occasionally with me. But the one that never leaves my bag is this old school uh, wired ones because that with AirPods, I've lost so many uh, pairs. Uh, I've lost them in airplanes. I've lost them just on the road. Uh, sometimes walking, I dropped it and just couldn't find it on the, on the street. So these ones are always with me just in case if anything happens, you're sure that this will never get lost and they always work and they've been working for many, many years. So I guess I'm more conservative when it comes to technology. I don't trust it completely. So even with uh, um, online payments and even with uh, you know online notes, I still do handwritten notes. I still carry my wallet and I still have my wired uh, earpods. Next here I have my home keychains. I guess um, they're just like any other keychains, except the only very special thing for me is that um, this chain was gifted to me. This little. A symbol here is called in Azerbaijani Khare Bulbul, which is the flower that only grows in Shusha, which is a very dear and uh, beloved land of Azerbaijan. And I love having this keychain with me as a reminder that Shusha is Azerbaijan and that we have finally liberated our territories. And uh, I recently had a trip to Shusha, which was very emotional and dear to me. And so you've probably seen some pictures that I've shared on my Instagram as well. So this little keychain is from there. And now the most interesting part of what is inside my bag is what is in my makeup bag, inside my working bag. What I love about this particular Dua bag is that it comes with a little um, chained uh, makeup bag. You can take it off and actually use it on its own. Or again, you can attach it to your bag and have it like this, hang with it, leave it inside, up to you. Okay, first things first, something that I've always shown in pretty much all my videos, and I know I'm not endorsing this, I'm not paid for this. Uh, this is a Chanel hand cream that I've been using for many, many years. Uh, I actually shared the picture how I've stocked on this cream, just in case if it ever goes out of production. I love the shape, I love how it feels in your hand, I love that it's so soft, yet it's so rich. It just leaves your hand feeling like you have just have gloves on. Very, very pearly, very nice. Next here I have a hair clip that we call a crab. What I love about this hair clip is just so easy to fix your hair. Like if you want to put an up, make an updo, you can just do whatever, a little bun and just hair clip like that. And I use it both for myself and my daughter, especially when she hasn't put her hair up and we go to a dance class and we really need to fix it very quickly, then this comes really handy. What do I have here next? I always also have all kinds of little bobby pins like this, again, just to fix either my hair or her hair. Um, so this always come in my little uh, makeup bag. So now let me show you, and also for hair, I still have this one, uh, the plastic one that is good to, to just tie your hair up. Uh, and also it's good that it doesn't break your hair. So these are all the things I have for hair. Now with the things in terms of health uh, and taking care of your 
uh, wellness. I always have band-aids with me. Uh, again, I actually used to have them even before I was a mom. I'm very conscious about getting cuts or things like that and keeping it all clean. But especially with kids, I always have band-aids with me. And there hasn't been a case where uh, either us or someone around us has a needed one. Uh, so it's good that I always have them with me. And I always have a chewing gum with me, again, for, for reasons that I meet a lot of clients and I will always want to freshen up my breath. The most important thing is even though you've chewed a gum, make sure to discard it prior to going to a meeting or interview or you know presentation. You don't have to have the gum inside your mouth because you'll get distracted at one point and start chewing it again and again, and that causes a little bit of a distraction for people that are listening to or just looking at you. So make sure to discard it before you go for a meeting. I always carry a vitamin C with me, especially in winter time. Anytime I feel like I'm not feeling well or I'm just slightly not myself, then I take a vitamin C. Uh, I don't recommend that you do it, it just helps me. And for, I also have this little, um, I don't know how they're called in English, I guess it's it's a German name, uh, Oxylococcinum or maybe it's a French uh, name of it, but it's also almost like vitamin C and it just is good in case you don't feel well. Um, it's just good to prevent you from becoming ill. So I have this with me. And so then I have uh, a Panadol with me and always uh, anti -all so allergy child children's Claritin. Um, my kids are not very allergic. They used to be when they were much smaller, but I always have one with me just in case. And it, you can also take it as an adult as well. Um, so I guess anti-allergy and um, against fever or any kind of ache, um, Panadol is the one that helps us. So this is what I have from my little pharmacy section. And then I have here the beauty section, starting with my favorite, ultimate favorite, eye drops called Lumify. When I was in US this September, I actually stocked, I feel like I bought all the Lumifies from all CVS pharmacies because once I was watching a video f with uh, an older lady, uh, she's also a YouTuber and she's such a lovely lady. She was telling about those eye drops that help relieve the pain. Like if you have an eye pain, if your eye is itchy or red, but it also helps sort of open up your gaze and open up your eye, especially if you're filming or if you're shooting. So I bought one, I tried it on and I loved it. So ever since I've been using Lumify, just on a daily basis, but especially where I'm shooting. Then I have here a little uh, brush that is both for your eyelashes and for the eyebrows. I have quite thick eyebrows, wide eyebrows, so they need to get tamed. Uh, so I'll use this brush throughout the day to just kind of brush them and give them a better look. So this is a must have in my bag. In terms of the makeup that I have, I have an under eye eye concealer from NYX. Um, the reason I have an under eye concealer is because I don't really apply much of a like foundation or anything on my face if I'm not shooting. So on a daily basis, I'll just use an SPF, a tinted one, and I don't reapply it throughout the day. But I do reapply a concealer because I do tend to get black under eye, um, especially as the day goes on, as I get more tired, um, they start showing up. So I try to reapply the eye concealer. And just if I have a little mark here and there, I'll also conceal it. I have a little, uh, again from NYX, this is an eyeliner, but it's a dry one. It's in a color brown. I also figured with years that with my uh, facial structure and color, the eye color, the eyeliner in color brown looks better on me than black. And especially for daily wear, for evening I can go for a darker one, but during the day I tend to go for a brown one. And the best part about this eyeliner is that it has two sides. It has the side where you apply and then it has this little, little bristly brush that you can use to kind of create a little bit of a shadow. So this one you can apply as an eyeliner, but then you can use the brush to kind of smudge it and give it a more eyeshadow look. So I really love this. Uh, for lips, I have a lot of things for lips. Uh, for now I'm carrying only two kind of eyeliners, but I'm a huge eyeliner fan. I rarely usually use the lipstick, only if I'm going out somewhere or some occasion and I want to go for a really interesting color that doesn't exist in eyeliner. But on a daily basis, I only apply, um, uh, sorry, not eyeliner, lip liners. I have here one by number seven precision. I don't know what the color is, but it looks like this. And this pillow talk one, it's called Leap Cheat. 
I try to go for a combination of two or three liners. I never just do one uh, because I love to kind of change up the color and create a new color on my own. That's why when I'm often asked on Instagram, what is the lip color that you're wearing or even on YouTube, I don't remember because I just experiment with the color every single time and I can't remember what I was applying. For lips, I have some other products and the two of my favorite ones here are this Chanel uh, clear uh, lip balm that's good to apply over the lip liner to kind of give it a more shiny look. I'm going to do now. Uh, and it's good if you're applying it in public, if you're out and about and you cannot use your fingers or your fingers are not clean. So you can't actually um, use your fingers. I'll explain why I'm saying this. So this is good to be used outdoors or out and about. And then I have here a La Neige lip mask, which I love. And I apply it just as a lip color by itself because it kind of brings this little pinkish to your lips and really moisturizes it. I use it at night and I use it in the morning before applying the lip liner. But I sometimes would use it throughout the day. It's supposed to be used with your fingers, but because I don't try to use, I don't, I'm very picky about it. I don't touch my face with dirty fingers and I don't want to touch my lips. So I'll just dab it inside like this. And sometimes there are some places where I can't do that. In that case, I'm opting for Chanel one, which is just like a stick. Uh, and I have here this little cotton swabs. I actually keep this bag. This cotton swabs I took from a hotel. They come with a, this little package. And then when I, there, I finish them, I just reapply and just put the new ones inside. They keep the cotton swabs clean, but I use them for anything and everything. If I need to fix an eyeshadow, eyeliner, if I need to fix my, uh, fix my lip liner, uh, instead of a brush, I use cotton swabs. I don't use any brushes at all, um, not even, not just in this makeup bag. I just don't use them. Um, the only brush I use is the one that comes with an eyeliner itself. So uh, cotton swabs are really great for that. And the two important items in any bag that I carry are two things that are very dear and, and near and dear to me. Um, and I've been carrying them for quite some time with me. One is a list little uh, quartz, heart quartz, a uh, pink one. I got it when I was uh, pregnant with my son. I just wanted to have a little stone with me. And I went to this shop and somehow, this is not my sign uh, stone. I'm not supposed to actually love or carry quartz with me. Uh, I have a moonstone, I think, but I kind of really love this. I saw it and I thought I want to have it and I've been carrying it with me for five years now. Uh, anytime I don't feel well, I don't feel get motivated, I feel down, I just hold this in my hand uh, and somehow it just calms me down. It must be the belief in it that makes it work, uh, but um, it has worked so far, so I always have it with me. I'll keep it back here so it doesn't get scratched. And I have this little lamp sheep, this little toy that's very, very small and very, very cute. I carry it again in my makeup bag. I was born in the year of 91, which according to a Chinese calendar is the year of sheep or lamb. Um, and so this is my year and it's my lucky charm. So I always carry this one as well with me. And uh, this is all that I have in my Sarja bag. Uh, Sarja is a design, the Dua bag, I should say, which is the name of the bag. And if you're interested to purchase one, you can check their website and order one to your own destination. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found some useful uh, tips and tricks in this video as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.